<laughs> it is Wednesday, the 14th of February. Happy Valentine's Day. You might be able to tell because of all the decoration. And we're also meeting mom oh, hi. out How for the breakfast burritos. And this, what is, what is this? That this you... is a gift for you guys. Oh. Nice. And look, even Isaac made little cards for you guys. And some chocolates. And then and some coffee. No. Oh, <laughs> some, 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 some and this is non-alcoholic. That's alcoholic. Perfect. And this is non-alcoholic. That's actually pretty bomb. I know, that's why I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to try it. Uh, you know, we woke up this morning too and we completely forgot that it was Valentine's Day. Yeah. Really, wait a minute. Too. It's yeah. yeah. So last minute we're gonna we're gonna go to dinner. Are you and John gonna do anything? Oh we cook at home because it's too crazy out there. Gotcha. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I somehow convinced both of my parents to do painting and wine. <gasps> you and did. dinner yeah, beforehand. After dinner, so that'll yeah. be fun. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh. My dad is apprehensive, right? <laughs> but my mom's excited. Painting with a twist. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd say that that's a relatively wrinkle-free shirt. Relatively being the operative word here, especially relating to its status, but maybe 15 minutes ago. Uh, this shirt was packed away in a box uh, and it wasn't packed away very nicely, I'll say. I mean, I did the packing, so there's no one to blame, but it was kind of just like crammed in there underneath a bunch of other clothes. Uh, it's one of my favorite like dressier shirts, so I don't know why I put it at the bottom of the box, but I'm just glad I was able to find it and better yet, able to get our steamer slash iron out and sort of remedy the situation. Um, we're not going to like, I guess like the fanciest restaurant in the world. It's called Mount Fuji. It's a Japanese restaurant, but we are going out for Valentine's dinner, so I'd like to look at least, I don't know, halfway decent. <laughs> Definitely better than a Skyrim t-shirt and some sweatshorts. But we're going to, like I said, Mount Fuji, Japanese restaurant, and we're actually going to be seated on the floor. It's like a very traditional Japanese restaurant. I'm very excited to, uh, to go there because number one, we know we'll have good company, right? Serena, myself, Serena's parents, Rob and Michelle will be there. And then number two, we're gonna have great food. I mean, I love Japanese food. It's arguably my favorite cuisine so really as long as as long as we got those two things everything else will be fine but you know what something i didn't consider am i flexible enough to sit crisscross on the floor huh well whether or not i'm flexible enough to eat dinner i suppose we'll see here soon so there's a space for your legs yeah. <laughs> Don't have to sit cross-legged, otherwise I might be stuck. But you can. Are you going to do it? Can you do it? I mean, I could, but I'm also in a I short can, dress. I can do it. Michelle is small enough. So, uh, so we should have this <laughs> nice big flat brush. And I like to give my big brush his name. So we call him Big Daddy. Can everybody say, hey, Big Daddy? Hey, Big hey, Daddy. Big hey, Big Daddy. Hey, Big Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Big Daddy likes to help us with things that are the details. So if we're going to clap, it's a work of art. Aren't I doing such a good job? You are doing a very good job. <laughs> Truly, about as well as I'm doing. Maybe a little better. Oh, no. I've got black in my white. Sure, I could like. You gotta, you gotta fan it. Looks like a rubbing mustard all over your painting. It does look like mustard, huh? Does it taste like mustard? I'm not tasting it. Taste it. No. It doesn't taste like mustard. <laughs> not necessarily original since it was guided but it's an LP and Serena group action I think it came out quite well I think it did honestly it's probably not the best one we've done but goodness gracious it was a good time and that's what counts and several hours later after some some dinner and funny story actually about the dinner uh, so we went to this restaurant, right? Mount Fuji. I didn't actually talk about what happened there. 
uh, we got there at just after five. We had reservations for five. We were about 15 minutes late and, uh, and that was fine. The place was dead. So that was cool. Uh, we, we were a little bit worried that we'd, you know, be delaying someone else's reservation or something. But when we got there, we were like one of two parties in the entire restaurant. So that was cool. Um, the only problem then became, uh, I guess how quickly they did get busy after the fact in their kitchen, I guess, couldn't keep up with it or something because I don't know, we, we, we ended up having to leave because we had our painting with a twist session scheduled at six 30 and we didn't get our entrees until like six 20. So <laughs> as you might imagine, we had to package them up and leave immediately and that was fine. I mean, like I said, they were busy. They're doing the best they can. So whatever. And truth be told as well, I wasn't actually all that hungry at that point in time because I had a big lunch today. But uh, after we did some super cool painting, and the paintings are actually over there. We've done that a few times, Serena and I. Um, <clears throat> Serena wanted to pull out all the other ones and kind of compare them and see whatever, like what else we've done. But we didn't want to dig out the paintings. Uh, Remind me, though, when, when we do get settled out and we <clears throat> unpack everything, I would like to see that. Because those things are fun. I really do enjoy it. I don't do any painting or anything like that outside of those, but they're a good time. And I very much look forward to more. And I also look forward to sleep because it is late. So thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and hope that you enjoyed yourself. And with that, see you. Well, see you tomorrow.